Yeah, this is what we're working on. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, digital citizens across the world. This is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 21 Stretch. In today's episode, we reflected on the impromptu work we did yesterday. It seemed like it was triggered by an emotional impulse to do something real quick, and then we developed it by adding cognitive reflection, meaning we added the correct theory. It turned out nicely, and we felt it's time to get back to work on the full-blown composing in 2332, which is doing cadences by note function. But as a fun little side trip, we decided to go ahead and make a piano kit that went with a C2332. If you remember, our piano, piano kits are like this. We have a 12-tone scale across the bottom. This is our 3663 scale that we just finished working on, and this is the 2332 scale that we're now working on. And we even made a cute little movie to demonstrate what it's like when they play, and it goes like this. trick was with that was you can't see that the avatar's particle beam there's a connection between the hand and the and the and the little cube that they're playing but we figured out how to solve that problem which was stop hiding the user interface <laughs> um, then we got as we said digging into working with the cadences by note function quick reminder we take our tonality reference area which is all over here and then these are all of the chords, 56 of them. And then we're making um, a cadences by note function. So we went through and picked out all the chords that had a D in them, which you can see here. There's a D right there. So all these chords. Let's start here. See that D down there? These are all the chords that have an E flat right there. These are the full mode scale that has a D. And these are um, the full note, full scale that has E flat in it. And we've learned over time that when you take 56 chords and then kind of sort them by note function, and then you start playing those in certain orders like this, can get pleasing cadence sequences and then out of that you can pick a backbone and then you then you're off and running so that's what we're working on this concludes today's stream our ideas for next time are to continue working with the cadences you can see that we need to resume here and explore ways to indicate modes mer neutrals and urges on the piano kit and what we mean by that is at the moment, we're just using the, the piano key colors, white and black. And that works. On the other hand, when you look at the scale we just did, it says, well, we know because we just worked with it that this and this are the modes. But then there's a none and a none and, a, and an urge and an urge somewhere in here. We know that's an urge. But that is the major urge. And then somewhere in here, there's a neutral. So are we going to color code neutrals? Are we going to color code urges? Are we going to color code minors and majors? We don't know. We could also stick note names on there or th say things like minor node, mode, major node, etc. It just doesn't seem aesthetic. And then we can have what's called hover text where there's little white words hovering over each little cube that says what's in it. I mean, we may have to may have to go to that. Um, we don't know yet. 
but that'll be fun to work out. So we'll, we'll find out. So you find out too. Thank you for your time, curiosity, attention, and interest. Please come back. Please take care and do keep on streaming.